Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I've got another fun card to share and it's using the 3D Delights die set. But this time I'm going to use it with this wonderful new little kit that comes with Papercraft Essentials issue 222. It's called Step Into Spring and inside it's just full of lovely cutouts you can see here everything's colored it's all cut for you you just pop them out you've got endless sentiments loads of little embellishments you've got foiled papers you've got pattern paper and you get these little honeycomb um, pieces as well that you can pop in the center of their bellies it's so cute there are dies for it they were they were out last easter and now they've brought out this kit so if you loved that or you just love easter uh, kits and things then i definitely recommend buying it so I've already cut all the pieces here. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this part of the card purely because I've got the tutorials that show you how to put this together in more detail and at a slower pace. These videos, as I always say, are just for inspiration. So I just speed these videos up, which are from a Facebook Live. So it's about a two hour long live and then I just condense it down into about seven or eight minutes. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the... Lat lettuce lattice <laughs> die cut um die cut but i've just popped some double-sided tape on the back of the card so it's one big sticker just makes it really easy to stick down you don't have to worry about gluing on all those tiny thin bits of card and then you can just place that down so yeah double-sided sticky tape if you've got any intricate dies is really handy so i'll pop those two together i'm just adding some glue along the tabs and i'm going to position that in the middle of the smaller circle that comes in the set it's the one with the slots in you want to make sure you get this centralized it's a kind of a love hate i think people have with this dime this um this die set but once you get it it's really really good so i'm just doing the single tier on this one so i'm adding the little i call them the little mushroom shapes i've just put do two of them back to back and stuck that on that front slot and then I'm just popping that main circle down and then you want to add some glue to the four little tabs that you've got there. And then you're going to stick them to the bottom of that circle. So just make sure you push it right down and then fold all those tabs up. Then you want to take this piece here. I'd already attached those together and you're going to slot through the tabs there. Again, you want to make sure everything is straight. So I use my grid, my blue mat there in a minute just to make sure that everything is straight. So make sure the bottom of the circle straight and then it all runs parallel with the sides. Then I'm going to add the handle. I almost forgot to add this. So I've just cut the handle with the rose gold cardstock. And I'm just sticking that back to back so you've got little tabs that um, fold out at the bottom. I'm using the construction glue on most of this. That will then end up drying up, you know, really hard. So it'll make everything nice and strong. And I'm just adding some quick grab glue on the tabs there. And I'm going to attach that so that the tabs sit either side of that fold in the middle of that circle. Make sure that's all nice and secure. You want to make sure your glue's dry between each of these steps. And then the last bit is to add the glue to those two tabs. Make sure they're folded down and inside that circle. And then fold up the white circle there and everything will sit inside. Again, just give that a minute to dry. And then when you push it down, you have your little pop-up. So this can be a platform. I'm turning it into a little Easter basket here, but you can just, you know, have it without the handle and you could have anything on this. You know, I was saying in the live, it could be a football theme, different sports, you know, wedding card, all kinds of things, whatever you want it to be. It can be just a fun platform to add whatever you have in your stash. Now I'm making a box so this is sitting, but it could also go in a bag as well. So you want three pieces of seven and a half by seven, one piece of seven by seven and one piece of seven and a half squared. The seven and a half squared piece, you want to score at seven on just two of the sides. So you've got a corner of the two score lines there. Again, you can watch this all in real time and I'll share the link to the Facebook Live below. So that's seven and a half by seven and a half piece. You just want to cut the corner so you've got a little square that you've taken out. And then I'm just um, mitering the edges there. And then I'm taking one of the seven, no, yeah, one of the seven and a half by seven pieces and sticking it. So now I've got a tab along the bottom on both pieces but they're also attached basically i've had to do it all deconstructed deconstructed because it's a seven by seven box so it's huge and i've only got 12 by 12 cards so i have to cut it all separately so then the seven by seven piece is going down in the middle there so you can see already now we've got this box so what's going to happen is is the back will stay as it is and then these two seven and a half by seven pieces again with the tabs so i'm sticking that underneath those pieces will fold down so it's a really fun box if you want to fill it with things as well you could put lots of little eggs around this basket you could have gift cards stuck on the front panels that fall down 
you could do all sorts with this, add little pockets in there and, and really fill it with more stuff. Now, I thought it'd be quite nice to have this box as the way to present it, but then they can take it out. So I'm adding hook and loop on the bottom there. You could use magnets if you want, or you can stick it right inside. But I know what my mum's like. This is going to be for my mum and dad, and I know she will she'll keep it for herself, and then next year she'll deconstruct it and give it to her friend. <laughs> so I thought this way she can take it out easily. She hasn't got the bulk of the box, and um, she can display just that piece, or she can use the box for something else as well. So... I'm just positioning that now and then I just test it by taking it back off again. I'm not sure if I kept that in or not. No, I don't. I didn't. But just make sure the hook and loop is secure. Now, this is on super high speed because it, this was about an hour of decoration. But I've just popped everything out using my hot glue gun and just start having fun with it all. I mean, I went OTT. There is so many elements. Everyone was saying in the chat, you've put so much on that card, but there's still so much left. This is just a snippet of the stuff I popped out. Like I said, there are so many sheets and I'm actually going to go and buy myself another copy of this magazine um, just so I've got them for next year as well. Then for the lid, this is a piece that's just over nine inches square and you want to score at one inch on all four sides. Make sure it's just a smidge over nine inches so it will fit on top of the box and then just fold and burnish and then you just want to cut up to the first score line take a little bit off of each side there so you've got a tab repeat that on the other corner and then repeat that on the other end so on the the uh, flip side there as I turn it around and just do that again and then you're going to add a little bit of glue onto each of the tabs and bring it under the side the opposite side so you've got a nice right angle and corner to your lid you'll see it a little bit more in a minute there you go you can just see me coming into shot like i said this is a facebook live so um it's not uh, you know like a proper youtube tutorial and again just adding the glue and just bringing that under until you've got all four sides of your lid and it's all put together you can reinforce that more if you want to but now you'll see that will fit perfectly on top of the box it's nice and big <laughs> But lots of fun. I really enjoy doing this one. And then when you take the lid off, you'll see the fronts fall down. And you can imagine that being filled with eggs and all sorts. And there it is all finished. I added some bunting and I added decoration on the lid, this here. So just decorated it. And then I used my chunky alphabet to spell out mum and dad and some more of the decoration in the kit. And you can see a little bit closer there, all of that lovely detail. And I'll share a picture of this also on my Facebook page. You can see it there as well it's so so sweet like i said had such a fun time using this and i just thought it was a nice way to show a different way to use this die set and also using it with other things that you might have in your stash i'll have everything as always linked below this video and i'll be back again very soon with another fun tutorial take care bye